All right, so let's have a look at this circuit. It is our DC circuit, which uses a diode and which uses a voltage source right here. So let's say this is the DC voltage source. We can right click here and we see that we have set the value of DC voltage to be one volt. If we click and click an advanced button, we have this independent voltage source menu where we can choose which type of voltage source we want. So in the previous model, we saw that we had the sine wave source, but right now we click here none and DC value was set to be one volt DC. And remember we chose the diode, right click here. We have an ideal diode of without any manufacturer and other specification. So assuming that it has a forward turn on voltage about 0.6 volt. We click OK and we have a register R1K. So what can we do with this circuit? So we can perform a DC analysis of this. So in this section, we have already covered to perform how to perform the operating point analysis of this circuit. It means we can get a DC operating points of voltages and currents of this circuit by choosing a dot OP analysis. But this time we can see that we have this particular command dot DC V1051M. So let's say what is this thing takes about. So we can right click here. After right clicking, you see in the simulation command window, we have chosen a DC sweep analysis right here. So let me use the annotation right here. So for example, if I click the annotation button, we have used this DC sweep analysis right here. So what we have done, we have uh, chosen the first source, which is the name of the source is V1. So remember uh, this, uh, the name of the source is uh, V1. So what, what I'm trying to show you, this voltage source is V1 right here. This is the V1 voltage source, okay? And uh, so this is the V1 voltage source that we want to sweep right here. We have chosen the type of sweep to be linear. Start value of this voltage source is zero and end value, stop value is five volt and the steps is one millivolt each. So this voltage source will start from zero and at the step of one millivolt each, it will step up to five volts DC. So that's why the syntax comes right here. You see, this is the syntax uh, dot DC. V1 uh, goes from zero to five volt at the steps of one millivolt. So this is called as DC sweep analysis. So this also shows us how to perform a DC sweep of a circuit. So what we can do with this analysis, we can compute the DC operating point of this circuit while uh, uh, stepping the independent sources. And if there are capacitances in the circuit that will be treated as open circuit. If there are inductances, in, indu inductances into the circuit that will be treated as short circuits. So remember, if we see that this DC operating point analysis so we can always go back to this analysis and we see that we click here and after clicking here, we can see that this is not the syntax for that. Just select and delete, press delete button. So if we, if, if we see that we click here, this is the syntax comes dot op. So if we come, we can click OK and this command, this simulation will change to dot op analysis, but we have performed this analysis before. So right now we will right click again dot op. We will select the DC sweep. We will say that voltage source V1 to be swept. We will type V1. Type of sweep is linear. Start value, let's say zero volt. Stop value is a five volt. Increment of one millivolt. And we say Okay, that's it. So you see this command, uh, this syntax of this particular uh, uh, simulation has appeared here. And with that said, we can just uh, run the analysis before that. Let me erase these uh, annotations here, right here, so that we can have a better picture of what we are doing. 
uh, having done that, now what is going to happen? This DC voltage source is going to be swept from 0 to 5 volt at the steps of 1 millivolt increment. And then as a result of that, diode has a forward voltage of 0 0.6 volt. Diode will not turn on and it will remain open until the voltage applied across it reaches its turn on voltage about 0 0.6 volt. We are starting from 0 volt. So when the voltage will reach 0 0.6 volt, diode will switch on. And as a result, the diode will be short circuit, the current will flow through the circuit, current will flow through the load and the output voltage will be developed across this one. So that's the analysis we want to do. Let us see how the circuit behaves. So once we are done, we can go to this run button or just uh, click simulate and select run. That's it, boom. So we are done with the analysis. And once we are done with the analysis, let's see, let's plot what results are available for us. So we see here, the results would be on the x-axis, we have zero to five volt. And on the y-axis, we don't have any option yet. So what we can do, we can come back to schematic window. We see what options we have. When there is a probe going to the component, we see that there is an indication. Do you want to plot the current through this? Do you want to plot the current through the diode? Do you want to plot the current? So if I click enter or just hit the mouse button, it will plot that one. So before that, I want to plot a voltage V1. So you see the probe appears there. I select this one. And you see the green light gives me a voltage V1. So it is from zero to five volt at the increment of one millivoltage. So it's a linear curve I get. I want output to be plotted. So I click here and you see now what I see here. I see that the blue is the output voltage across the diode. So output voltage is zero volt unless the input is about 0 0.6 volt. So you see that when the green volt uh, waveform goes about 0.6 volt, which is cut in voltage or forward voltage or turn on voltage of this diode. So diode turns on. When the diode switches on, the current flows through the circuit and that's why it acts as a short circuit and the voltage appears across the load. And that's why the blue line thereafter is going there. Okay, and there is there is this difference between V in and V out, which is about one volt minus 0 0.6 volt. So that is about approximately 0 0.4 volt. We have covered that in the previous one, so, right? So this is how we go that uh, with the theoretical analysis. What about we want to do, uh, we want to plot the currents into the circuit and some other parameters. What are the current? So let me select, uh, let me select this uh, go. Let's say I go over schematic window and I click the over the diode. So it plots me, I left click the button to plot ID2. ID2 is in the red color and plots the current flowing through the diode. So you see, and the magnitude of the current is on the right Y axis. So the current maximum current that flows through the diode is about 4.4 milliampere, right? And when the diode is switched on, uh, the current is zero, of course. What is the current through the resistor load? It is uh, in the green and it is same as uh, this IR1. So if you don't want to plot the current and voltages on the same plot, what you can do here, just right click the waveform window uh, right after right clicking, you just say add plot plane, and with that, you can then right click the empty plot plane and then add press and go to plot, select ID2, then select IR1, and then that's it. Just you see now, ID2 and IR2 have been plotted in the same axis. If you want to delete particular press, let's say IR1, right click on that label. This window appears and select delete this stress. And ID2 remains there, IR2 goes, goes out. So this is the magic of uh, uh, this dot DC analysis or DC sweep analysis lets us uh, analyze all the voltages and currents as a function of 
uh, stepping of the input voltage source or current source. So that's the advantage of that. Okay, so uh, with that, we have covered how to perform DC sweep analysis, in particular with the diode circuit and how to know plot uh, currents and voltages. So again, click view, generate the spice netlist automatically to be used in other circuit simulators like we explained before in the previous model. So you have ready-made spice netlist, just do that. If you want to build a PCB out of it, based on these components and the devices, just click uh, tools and click export netlist and your SPICE diode DC circuit goes ready. Uh, and uh, this is to be, this can be used with the Express PCB net software. So you just click save and it says that uh, it is already existing file. Do you want to replace it? Yes or no, whatever you choose. So this file goes there and this PCB netlist, uh, express PCB netlist is created automatically. So this file will be used by the PCB design software. Okay, so just uh, do that. So having said that, we stop here and happy learning.